I know, right? Like it's like a super exciting, super fun project. Uh, I for 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 one, I'm really excited because it's unique and I I believe it holds like um, every uh, thing we have done so far from forecasting our uh, our budgets, um, creating uh, job des descriptions and so on, and so many new new things. So I believe it's going to be super exciting and of course um, I believe this is uh, our last uh, project for this cohort it's a two-week uh, project so uh, I hope everyone have uh, fun while doing it <clears throat> so um, so it's about um, strategic project uh, product development and executions uh, execution so it has every component from market research to uh, like deciding on the pricing, uh, the pricing strategy, uh, with the budget forecasting, um, like uh, uh, like posting jobs for this uh, the new product, and up to like uh, presenting your work and uh, finding the finances. So it's super exciting and it's. Like I said, it holds so many co components, so it's going to be fun. So let's jump back uh, right to the project scenario. So for the project scenario, um, we have a company named uh, Naxara Dynamics and it's a new tech startup. Sorry, uh, that's a way that, that was a bad line. So, and you are uh, focused on creating new and innovative solutions for uh, like everyday problems. So you are uh, you are like planning, or your aim is just to create a product that's uh, practical, uh, user friendly, and uh, has a high quality and have a higher customer satisfaction. So you you need to achieve these things. Uh, in your every uh, what we call pro products of the company, so uh, you believe in uh, leveraging sorry the latest achievements in technology to create products that are not only effective but also accessible to everyone. So you are working as a chief of uh, operating official uh, officer, chief operating officer. So you are the CEO of that company and. Uh, your job is just to set up the operations and plan the company strategy and um, you are like you are responsible for every new product so you are responsible for every single detail of that product so you are a new hire an early hire no the early hire while uh, your role is nominally CEO you are essentially responsible for a combination of project management, operations, and helping the, the technical team. So you are not only limited to being the CEO. So um, you have a lot of work to do. So your specific tasks are market research and product definition. So uh, you're gonna do a market research, research on the market, you're gonna find a market gap, a, a gap in the market, and you're gonna define your product in order to achieve or you know you in order to fulfill that uh, gap right so you're going to study the market to understand what the customers need this is your gap and define the product and its future based on this research so your product needs to fill that gap so uh, the next thing you're going to do is define your personas so what you, what this means is it's going you you're, you're going to have your ideal uh, like customer right so um let's say you want to build uh like it's it's not a really a product but if you want to build uh for instance a gym like that's the only thing that's on my mind uh so i, I know it's not a good uh, a good example but if you want to build a gym your uh like your persona your user persona is going to be someone who's looking to get fit, right? Who's not like really fit or who's who's uh, like planning to gain some muscle and so on, right? So you need to create or you need to define your uh, user, 
your potential user and understand who they are and what they want and uh, like what kind of product are they looking for, what kind of team they're lo lo looking for and so on. After you find your product, uh, like the first thing as I have said, it's looking for the gap. And the second thing is defining the product that's going to fill the gap. And the third thing is defining your uh, like ideal uh, customer or potential users. And then you're gonna be defining your pricing strategy. So this is just deciding on your uh, pricing depending on your uh, competitions because you, you like most li likely you're you're not going to be the only one delivering that kind of product so you, you need uh, you have the your competitions uh, you need to think about and then uh, the next thing is going to be your personas like uh, like uh, what is like how much is your ideal uh, user willing to pay and your profitability so how much profit are you looking to make and you need to just uh, bring these three into uh, like into a strategy and decide on your price and the next thing is you're gonna be uh, hiring the right people for your team or this specific uh, product so you need to come up with your uh, you need to first uh, define the key um, the key uh, jobs that you are going to need to hire and you're gonna be writing a uh, job descriptions for that specific position. And then you have the budget planning, and you need to prepare budgets for the first year uh, and ensure that operations are well funded. So uh, this is just the forecasting. So you need, uh, we, we will see it in detail, uh, just, just basically just the uh, forecasting. And then uh, the last thing is pitch deck. So this is your presentation to your investors. So you need to convince them to that you have done your work, that you have done your research, that it, that this uh, product is going to bring in uh, profit and so on. So that's going to be your last work. So uh, is, anything, is everything clear so far, guys? Okay, Habib and Zura Zarufal understood what about the rest. Okay, okay. So um, as I've said, it's a two-week project, so don't feel overwhelmed. Uh, okay. So the outcomes that uh, are expected from this project is going to be gain experience in operating at interface between different project management tools uh, roles. As we have said, you are not only limited. Uh, to being the CO, there are a lot of tasks that you have to do. Uh, learn how to conduct market research. This is a really, really key thing. Um, like learn to uh, how to create user profiles. Uh, this you creating your personas or de de uh, defining your potential users. Uh, learn how to set prices. Learn how to write job descriptions. Learn how to plan budget and learn how to present to your investors so yeah now uh, it's going to be so uh, for the key dates so uh, the challenge direction we are having right now and on Wednesday the coming Wednesday which is on June 26th you're gonna be having uh, you, you're gonna be submitting your first interim submission and on Saturday, uh, June 29, instead of being uh, it being uh, your final submission, you're gonna have your second interim submission. And on Wednesday, uh, like the next week, Wednesday, which is on July the 3rd, you're gonna be submitting your uh, final submission. Yeah, okay. So let's give the, like, let's dive deeper into the tasks. So, as I've said, like uh, you are the CEO, and your first task is going to be conducting market research. So you're gonna need to like have more much of your resources here, and do uh, like uh, assign much of your time here because this is just the basic thing that you can do. 
or you have to do. So uh, like conducting mar market research is the first thing that you are going to do. So when you are conducting your market research, you're gonna identify what the market needs. So study the market and understand the current trades uh, and customer needs. Look for areas uh, like areas where existing products fall short. Like this is just finding the gap in the market. Like there can be um, like other companies that uh, like like produce a similar product, but that are not um, fully uh, solving the problem. So that that can be your uh, gap. And so on, or you you can also like try a new thing if you want. Uh, that's can can be also a market gap. And the next thing is analyzing your competitors. So uh, you need to examine the competition and understand their weakness and their uh, strengths and identify their gaps in their offering, where you can provide a better solution. And you tar your target audience, like who your potential customers are and what they want and what problems are they facing while using the current product that's available on the market. And then like after you do, you have defined the gap, you identify like the second thing is you identify the gap, like uh, and you're gonna be coming up with uh, innovative features that are going to uh, offer to fill this gap. So based on your research, you have identified the gap from the market, um, and then you, the, you, you're you gonna come up with um, some innovative features that your company can offer in order to fill these gaps and produce, like uh, provide a unique value to the customers. And you have to come up with so this is the main thing when you are uh, designing a new product you have to show or come up with uh, or define your competitive advantage so this basically means what makes your product stand out from the others because uh, like uh, this product is already being uh, provided by other companies so you need to come up with your niche uh, or something that uh, you have an advantage over your competition. So yeah, so this is just your unique selling point uh, that addresses uh, the unmet needs or improve your ex the existing solutions that is provided by other your competitions or other companies. And then you're gonna define your product. So the, you're, when defining your product, uh, you're gonna be defining the key features, the key functionalities of your product, um, problem sol solving, like uh, explain how your product is going to solve uh, the problems of your specific audience or your, um, like we have said, your uh, personas and value propositions. You, 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 you need to create a value proposition that highlights the unique benefits and advantage of your, your product. So this, the, this is basically why, just to show why uh, the, your customers, you or your ideal customers need to choose you over your competitions. So um, that was task one. Uh, uh, okay, any questions? Okay, yes, yeah, she can't hear. Uh, okay, so maybe it's just your network. So any questions, guys, so far? Okay, I'm going to take that as a no. Okay, let's continue. So the second thing you're gonna do is create your user persona for task two. So after you have conducted your research and find the gap and you have defined the product that going, that's going to fill the gap, the next thing you're gonna do is you need to create and define a profile for your ideal customer. So who is your perfect customer that's going to be using your product. So 
this is important because it's going to help you understand uh, what they need, what kind of pre uh, preference they have, and what kind of behavior they have. So this is going to be important when you're going to be uh, identifying your pricing strategy and other things. So, so how are you going to uh, create your or to define your user persona? So the first thing is you're going to be uh, gathering data uh, from your research. You're going to be identifying the key characteristics of the target audience. Um, identify the key segments of this target audience, which include um, demographics, which are age, gender, occupation, income level, and other like demographic details of your target users. Uh, psychographic, which are interests, uh, values, lifestyle, pain points, and related problem uh, to your product solves, which your product solves. And the last thing, uh, behavioral traits, like uh, what is your, like either, what is the uh, buying behavior of uh, your target audience, uh, product usage pattern, and decision making process. So these are like the key things that you need to understand about your um, customers or your potential users. Um, so uh, the next thing is create a detailed persona. So a persona profile, after you have defined these things, you're gonna be creating a detailed profile for each user segment, including name, photos, and a brief biography. Um, goals and needs outline, you need to have a specific goal, needs, and challenge for each persona faces, which uh, each persona faces and product interaction. Uh, you need to describe how each persona would interact with your product, including their motivation, personal barriers, and so on. And uh, we are actually adding the, this one right now. So you need to create a um, user journey by using Figma. So how you're gonna do is, um, so you like when you create your detailed uh, like persona, um, you're gonna be using words, right? But in this task, in the last uh, task, you're gonna be doing it by using Figma. So you need to show how the user is going to be interacting with your uh, product. So each step. So we're gonna be adding it right now, and uh, it's going to be available for in more detail, but it's just there to show how your customer is going to interact with your product. Okay, for task three, you have your uh, pricing strategy. So you need to uh, have or set a price that reflects on the value of the products, align with your uh, competition and maximize your revenue, and of course, uh, fit with your ideal persona. So uh, the first thing is you're gonna be analyzing the cost. So how much do you uh, is the product going to cost you, which is production cost, and production cost uh, can actually be traced back to the product. So uh, the, the difference between operational cost and product cost is just that, uh, like production cost can like be traced back uh, to the pro the product uh, or the end product, which include materials, labor, and overhead. But operational costs are actually um, not cannot be traced back to the products, which are marketing, distribution, and customer support. And after you have uh, like cal calculated these uh, costs, you need to go back and define your profit ma margin because uh, your price is going to be your cost plus your profit mar margin, right? So you need to define your profit margin and understand your uh, the market rates, which is uh, like analyzing your uh, competition. So there are uh, several competition like uh, pricing strategies here that you need uh, to uh, look at, take a look at. 
So uh, you need to uh, go through the computers, uh, the computers that are uh, offering the a similar product and understand that their pricing structure and uh, their positioning, and you need to come up with your own uh, positioning. So what this means is, do you want your product to be premium offering, which is going to charge at a, at a higher rate, uh, mid-range, which is in between your higher range and lower range, and of course, budget friendly, which is cheaper than uh, like than mo most of the market, right? So you need to, uh, to choose the, the, this one too, sorry. Um, and the next thing is you're gonna be choosing uh, a pricing model. So a pricing model, model can be uh, cost plus pricing, which is much more of a standard way of doing it, which is your cost plus the price that you are, uh, like the profit uh, that you are going to, minus the profit that you are going to have is going to give you the price. I'm sorry, the cost plus the profit is going to be the price. And value-based pricing is just to set the price based on the perceived value of the customer. So if you are perceiving to have, the, or the customer to have a higher value, you're gonna be charging them higher. And if you are perceiving that they are going to be having a lower value, for that product, you're gonna be charging them for lower. And competitive pricing is just um, aligning with your uh, competitor's price or going even a sl slightly below them. And uh, tired pricing is just uh, like uh, different pricing, uh, which is tied based on the features and the benefit included in each pa package. So if you're, uh, um, product have uh, like other included benefits or uh, or your product can be sold in a package. So the pricing is going to vary with the package, right? Like if there is like buy two, get one free, or if you buy both together, you're gonna have a 10% discount and so on, right? And then after like, uh, choosing the model, you're going to be setting your initial price for the product. So uh, price points is going to determine the initial pr pricing point of your product. And introductory offers is going to be, um, so when, uh, if you have seen much of the products yet, uh, these days, they are going to give you discounts when you are, uh, new to the product right so if you are a new like uh, if you are signing up to use the product or you are a new user you're gonna be receiving uh like some benefits or some features or a discount so that's what introductory offers means so how is it going so far guys okay Good, good. Um, okay, was that a comment? Okay, so then? For the pricing, do we choose only one or we have to to to, to, to incorporate all the models? Uh, okay, I think you're talking about these models. Yeah, are we supposed no, to choose have... only one? Yeah, of course. So consider mm -hmm. the chosen pricing model. So if you can see here, you have to choose a pricing model. Excuse me? Uh, did I interrupt you or? No, it's, it's okay. You you say you you have, you have said we choose only one model. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. okay. So let's move on to task four. Um, for task four, 
you're gonna be creating a job description. Um, so you're gonna be identifying key roles that are essential position that needs to uh, support the company's operations and growth. And you need to outline responsibilities and requirements. We have done this one earlier in uh, earlier weeks. So. Okay, I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh, you, you're going to be identifying the key responsibilities, required qualifications, skills, experience, and education. So make sure that you have consistent um, templates when you are defining your job descriptions. Last time we were having issues with um, inconsistency, so we have defined a template, but you can use your own, but make sure that everything aligns, uh, like every description aligns with each other. So you're going to be doing that one too. So uh, moving on to task five, it's budget planning. So you're going to uh, like estimate uh, your sales from the products and you have, or you already have your uh, price so just by multiplying that by the number of sales by estimated of course by estimated number of sales you're gonna have your estimated revenue and uh, the next thing is estimating your expenses uh, which include personal cost uh, which are salaries benefits for the employees and hiring and training expenses um, operational costs, which include rent and utilities, if need be, uh, supplies, uh, equipment, software tools, and the tools, and so on, which are operational costs. Uh, marketing and sales, uh, marketing campaigns and advertising, sales team expense, and so on. And product development are uh, like research and product de development, which is research and uh, development cost, production and manufacturing expense, and quality assurance and testing for future de development, of course, and administri administrative uh, costs, which is accounting fees um, and miscellaneous uh, other uh, administrative expenses. If uh, you have made uh, if you need to make uh, major purchases they are also going to be explained like including in the capital expenditure and uh, lastly you have the contingency fund which is there just uh, like uh, just to be safe right uh, just to uh, cover some unexpected expenses and for emergencies yeah okay so the last task is going to be uh, creating a pitch deck. Um, so uh, this is going to be your presentation for your potential investors. And for the pitch deck, you're going to have introduction where you're going to be introducing your company and its mission, problem statement, uh, when you define, uh, clearly define the problem uh, that the, your product is going to solve and you're going to be using real world examples to restrict, uh, to show the problems and the solution this uh, like uh, describe the product your product and how it solves uh, the problem that you have stated in the problem statement and make sure to highlight the unique features and be, be, uh, benefit that your product is going to offer uh, that your competitions or your uh, competitors or the product that's already in the market is not offering right now. And you're going to be uh, presenting your the market opportunity, like um, you're going to present your market research data to show the size and uh, the, the growth potential of your uh, the target market. So if it doesn't have uh, growth potential, investors are not going to be interested in uh, in joining. And you're going to be including information on the market trend and the customer need. Uh, product overview, just uh, a detailed overview of the product. 
business mo model uh, like how are you going to uh, how are you planning to make money uh, and a detailed uh, revenue stream such as product sales subscription and other income sources um, like the marketing and sales strategy how are you going to uh, market and sell you the product and explain how you will acquire and retain the customers how are you going to uh, like attract new customers and how are you going to keep your current customers competitive analysis identifying uh, key competitors uh, and analyzing their strengths and their weaknesses and how you are going to um, fill that gap and be in a competitive advantage and the financial pro projection is going to be your financial projection for the next three to five years um, you're going to be including the revenue expenses profit margin break-even analysis so um, i think revenue expense and profit margin are usual terminologies but break-even analysis just to add on this one uh, break-even analysis means uh, operating at a net zero profit so you are not losing or you are not gaining money but you are operating at a net zero profit so no loss no profit but just operation so your the revenue is going to only cover the expenses so it's not going to show uh, to fall short of the expenses and it's not going to go over uh, over the expenses and bring in uh, profit so that's what uh, break-even analysis means um, and then uh, you're gonna be showing the milestone uh, the milestones and roadmap so uh, outline the key milestones achieved so far and the road the roadmap for the next few years um, maybe do it for three years and include product development stages market launch and growth plans and last but not least of course uh, specify the amount of money or funding that unit and explain how this fund is going to be used in order to achieve um, the business goals okay so that's that's all about the tasks so any questions guys So Stan is shocked. Uh, okay, what's wrong, so, so Stan? Heavy walk, heavy walk. Okay, what, what? It's, 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 it's heavy. Downing. It's very heavy. <laughs> I thought last week was very easy. Last week was easy. This one. <laughs> okay. But this is for um, two weeks. So you, you have a lot of time to work on them. Plus, you're going to be learning a lot. So that's a plus, right? Yeah, it's a plus, but it it, it is really a final project. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, okay. Let's move to the submissions. Um, so for the first interim submission, you're gonna be submitting um, task one and task two, and you're gonna be submitting a report so your report is going to be have is going to have your market research identified gap features and competitive advantages over your competitors clear and defined uh, definition of the product is going to be under task one and under task two for the personas for defining the personas uh, clear and detailed user personas clear definition of user of personal profile goals and needs and product interaction how they are going to interact with the, uh, the products so we're going to be expecting a minimum of task one and uh, i think this needs to be changed 
but yeah. And for your second interim submission, you're going to be submitting uh, from task one to task four. Uh, and you're going to be including, uh, like we have seen the first two tasks. And for task three, um, you're going to be including the analyzed cost, uh, including uh, product cost, operational cost, and profit margin. Uh, your analysis of your competitors and their marketing positioning your their, their pricing and their market positioning and then you're gonna come up with your own pricing model and why you chose that specific model and the initial price of course and you need to include the introductory price of course yeah and for task four uh, just identify five essential roles that you need uh, for the company and for each role you're gonna be listing their responsibilities qualification skills experience and education just like we did for the job uh, posting or description and for the last one of course you're gonna be submitting all of the tasks and uh, like from one to four you're gonna be submitting uh, the previous uh, submissions and for task five identified uh, revenue streams estimated uh, expense for including uh, personal uh, operational marketing uh, sales product development and administrative cost capital expenditures uh, contingency funds and so on and for uh, task three, uh, which is where task six, which is the pitch deck, you're going to be um, including slides, I believe, slides, yeah, in a PDF format, uh, which include uh, the introduction, problem statement, solution, market opportunity, um, product overview, business model, marketing and sales strategy, competitive analysis, financial production, projection, uh, milestone uh, and roadmap and and asking asking for the fund that you need. Um, yeah, so that's it for the submissions and for um, the tutorials. We just had the challenge introduction, and in the afternoon we're gonna have a market research and product definition by Reddit, and tomorrow we're gonna have uh, creating pricing strategy. And on Wednesday, um, there's a session with Yaya uh, on identifying key roles and creating job descriptions. And on Thursday morning, we're going to have a Q&A session. Uh, morning or afternoon? Yeah, morning. And for next week, uh, on Monday, we're going to have a session on operational budget planning. And uh, on Tuesday afternoon, we're going to have a session on creating a pitch deck with Reddit. So, yeah, that's it for me. We have uh, selected a few references for you to look at. Make sure to go over them. And, yeah, so uh, that's it for me. Any questions, guys? And Habib said <laughs> the tasks are really tasking. <laughs> okay. So I believe it's going to be uh, so much fun. Like I'm super excited for this week's project. Okay. So any questions, guys? <laughs> okay. I will be uh, lo looking forward to it. So then I will be more than happy when you guys ask, uh, to be honest. And yeah, the uh, graduation is uh, coming. I believe it's going to be next week or, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure about the specific dates. Yes, Gitari. We will have fainted during. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I believe uh, I believe you guys are going to be um, like are going to impress yourselves because we have seen your potentials and you have stuck with us for like the last three months so we believe that you can do it so that's why um, like we're not going to give you that 
something that's in, out of your your league. But we believe that you're gonna do it. So just trust the process and uh, do the best that you can. And we're here to help. So yeah, just try to make the best out of it. Plus, it's going to help you a lot, like in the in in your like future professions. We believe. Um, I believe um that this project is going to help you a lot so who is excited show me some reactions okay 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 everyone seems to be happy about it so um just to see that um, we are on the same page i would like to have uh, one or two students who are uh, like um willing to give us their insight on the projects like uh, they are just to see their understanding uh, just to see that we are on the same page uh, if i can have like one or two students or trainees who are willing uh, to share their uh, understanding that would be great so by show of hands who is willing i thought everyone was excited but no one is willing to share i think today's task is hefty uh, because for people like me i'll have to to redo the video actually please uh, upload the video immediately eh? Thank <laughs> you. Okay, i will do my best i will let the team know uh, but I, I i i'm i was hoping for at least one per person to just it doesn't have to be like correct or perfect i just want to see where they're understanding and that we are on the same page so no pleasure just just share your understanding uh, so as the new elected coo of nexera dynamics we're um, going to launch a new product we don't know what the project product is yet so we're supposed to um do like a top to bottom research of what the product will be and follow through the whole process of getting the product on the market and the we have a number of tasks that includes doing a mass market research um the user personas pricing strategy the job descriptions for the right people on the team Budget planning and the pitch desk. I think that's that's what I was I was able to get. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's perfect. Thank you for sharing. And uh, <laughs> okay, uh, okay. I was just reading the comments and good luck, yeah, for your lunch and yeah so you are uh an early hire uh, not a new one um so you're responsible for a lot of uh work so yeah but uh, everything that she said uh Ura just said um aligns with uh the project so anyone else who wants uh, to share just one person and in Gala's hate, um, yeah, it's open for open for entrepreneurship, project management, and some part of product design and software development. So yeah, it has a lot of components, uh, and you're gonna see how um, how well, uh, like you're gonna see how you're gonna proceed with it uh, while you're do doing it. So like. What I'm trying, what I'm trying to say is just that uh, the hardest part is going to be starting, but once you have started, 
it's going to take the flow. So don't worry about that one. So anyone else who want to add on this one? I don't know what Ura said. Yeah, she is in a fight on in a food fight. So no, not in a food fight. Uh, that was wrong. Uh, okay. Yeah, she's uh, at lunch. Uh, so maybe others who can share. Firamsa, can you share? Or um, so ten maybe. Or zero file. One of your three and. It's we can intercept you. Okay, from so. And yes, so still. Yeah, I think what I managed to, to get is that at the COO, uh, my task will be involved going to doing data research to define the product based on customer needs. Uh, it will also include some creating detailed personas, which will guide the marketing strategies and development. Will also to 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 craft a, a pricing strategy, which is crucial because it it, it is to be informed by the market research. I think something like that, and so. I would create specific job description to ensure we could challenge the next time. Yeah, no, no, no. hmm? And also, I think so. Stan, you're breaking up a bit. I was on my side, but yeah. Hello, Sosten. Hello. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, thank you. Um, on my side, uh, I must understand about we are stepping into the role of founding CEO at the company. The, the company is a new tech startup focused on developing innovative solution. And that there are uh, so many primary responsibilities for us. Uh, setting up operation and the plan and the company strategy covering aspect of the project management. Uh, I think this all. Yeah, okay. Uh, that is perfect. Um, thank you for sharing, everyone, and um, thank you for uh, joining. Um, okay, so that's it for me. Any questions? that uh, that you want to ask the floor is yours and if not we can end the session here okay. if there are no questions show me some thumbs up and we can just, uh, like end the session we have two people three Yeah, me too, Yoshi. And thank you for that one. Yeah, okay. Let me just start the recording.